Under normal circumstances, this is a dojang where kids and adults used to practice Taekwondo. Then came virus, and it is currently closed, well, for regular classes that is. Since closure, it was used as a production facility for personal protection equipment for local caregivers, as well as other crisis-related R&D. But now, as restrictions easing a bit, maybe it is time to do something else before classes resume. To evaluate feasibility of building full-size geodesic dome, I want to build the model first to learn as much as I can before going any further. First, we need structure and dimensions. I am going to use this one and I already found the diameter that would give me nice round number of 10 in this field. One centimeter will represent one foot. Easy conversion. We need connectors. And since I have access to 3D printers, let's design set that can be used with bamboo skewers that I found on my kitchen. And since I'm going to use flexible printing filament, I do not have to worry about those pesky angles. Is it brilliant or what? Sweet. Oh, bugger. Next question, how in the name of all that holy do I supposed to keep tracking of all of those uh, sequences, especially then, let's say B and H are almost the same color. Hmm. Okay, solution, color markers. There's a little bit of problem. Some of the colors are very close, such as uh, two almost reds, uh, two almost uh, two greens, two blues. So, uh, in order to make sure that they're easy to read, um, number of lines should solve these problems. Okay, markings are done. Connectors are printed. Time to clean this mess and begin to work. Okay, what have I learned? I really like using TPU printed uh, connectors because there's no need to think about any angles, it's kind of 
self-forming to the curvature of the dome. This is awesome. Unfortunately, I don't think it can be replicated on a full scale. As I was putting this uh, project together, I realized that stresses actually goes inside of each joint. So, in order to release them and give the model rigidity, I'm thinking about 3D printing small cylinders uh, which will go inside of each connector to give it more strength. The scale size of this pole is equivalent of 50 feet. The significance of this one may be revealed in a subsequent analysis of this project. The server development of this project will depend at resources I will have to make it happen. So any support will be greatly appreciated. And we'll see. Maybe one day I will be able to make it full size. This is going to be my take on old Japanese tradition of Senbazuru. Not everything is going to be according to the book.